So we're here with uh, Claudio, and um, the first question I'd like to ask is, you're very well known within the mathematical finance community, but just as a recap for, for everyone, what's, what's your experience so far? In, in what? In, the in terms of how you started and what you're doing at the moment. Well, I mean, I, so I started off as an academic and I got into technology and uh, uh, that, 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 that led me to, uh, to then uh, um, really work on, on large portfolios and uh, we, we are now launching a service with, with Triotima to have a benchmark service for, for, for XVA that really excites me and uh, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really focused on that and, and uh, a, a taking care of the software, taking care of the data uh, yes. that goes into the models and the coming up with the best possible metrics. Sure. And I know that you're speaking on FVA at the conference and it's a very uh, important area within the industry. Why do you think it's such an important area at the present? And also, what are you talking about? Well, I mean, the uh, funding costs are, uh, are, are, are sizable and they have uh, a huge impact on, on operations. Um, th there is also a, a question uh, on how to actually account for them, and and sure. that's that's uh, uh, you know really adds layers on top of uh, uh, the, the, the the basic uh, um, uh, inefficiencies uh, that that created this whole uh, requirement for for funding on an unsecured basis, and uh, so what. Uh, is going on in the industry nowadays uh, regarding the quantification of funding costs is that uh, mm -hmm. uh, what people have been trying to do is to reuse systems uh, that have been in place for quite a while uh, for the calculation of CVA for the purpose of uh, computing uh, uh, funding cost adjustments and uh, yeah. to do that they, they, they look at the portfolios so from a net inset viewpoint yeah. I mean, so I mean you have uh, 10,000 counterparties you've got a 10,000 net insets yeah. and then you find you try to find the the, the, the funding valuation adjustment for each one of them. The problem with that kind of uh, mm. uh, calculation is that uh, you, you completely miss out yeah. on rehypothecation. I mean, when yeah. uh, 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 unsecured transactions are edged out, I mean, yeah. collateral variation margin can be rehypothecated across all yeah. the netting sets. So, missing out on that is, is, is a tremendous challenge. and, and uh, in a way distorts the view of, uh, um, of, the, of the metric. And, and what, what really interests me in this particular moment is how to capture that rehypothecation benefit in a, in a rigorous way. Um, and, and, and also, I'm very interested in looking at ways to um, come up with metrics that do not have double counting in them. I mean, uh, whenever you, lose a, you use approximations, uh, you end up with accounting paradoxes sure. because of double counting yeah. and, uh, and all. And uh, a more rigorous type of metrics instead uh, uh, do not have that kind of issue. So th this is the kind of problems that, that really interest sure. me because they are very much intertwined with our ability to do complex calculations and, yeah. and to do actually do massive arithmetics with, uh, with, with these portfolios. And, and th that's really the single uh, uh, most important limiting factor in doing things right in a way. And in terms of interest, have you had a lot of interest in this area from the large banks? Well, uh, yes, I mean, and the, the, the work I will be presenting at this conference is, uh, is uh, quoted with uh, uh, Lee Anderson, uh, who is yeah. uh, uh, Bank of America. And, uh, but but uh, even, uh, um, I, mean, I believe all other banks, I mean, uh, all the first year banks are really very much concerned yeah. with this kind of issues. So you might have heard of uh, these uh, large size write-offs by uh, JP Morgan, for instance, yeah. or Deutsche Bank, or Nomura, um, uh, about FEA and uh, uh, the, the accounting uh, um, uh, firms are all discussing about new standards, uh, regulators are discussing sure. about the standards as well, so there is a lot of interest in this topic and, and so it's not uh, difficult to, to, to steer a debate if sure. you come up <laughs> with uh, something new, you, you, you do attract yeah. attention. Well, I think whenever banks have these issues in terms of write-downs, it actually focuses their thoughts to actually 
try and do something about this. I think it's it's the right solution that you're proposing at this time. That, that, that's right. I mean, <laughs> write downs are, uh, are uh, in, in a way are bad news. And uh, yeah. but w w what we find is uh, uh, is quite uh, uh, instructive. I mean, yeah. if one really is able to include the application benefits rigorously, we find that uh, capital charges are reduced by yeah. a factor of three. I mean, as large as a factor of three, and and, and the actual write off. Uh, becomes nil because yeah. because of uh, uh, this uh, DVA2 charge that uh, yeah. uh, that John Hall was proposing that sure. can only be implemented within a rigorous a rigorous framework but still yeah. mitigates substantially the, the right of amount so uh, again I mean this is yeah. uh, this is uh, this is uh, our motif uh, yeah. at the moment All right. Well, it's been great to talk to you, and right. I look forward to visiting you at your uh, <laughs> at your premises soon. Sure, <laughs> thanks.